Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Vallabh Chavla and today we will be doing a case study on apical extrusion of endodontic sealer in the inferior alveolar nerve canal. Okay, so many times what happens is just a nerve tracing that we have performed in a digital OPG. So many times you must have noticed the roots of the mandibular first molar or the second molar are in very close proximity to the nerve canal cortex and suppose if the tooth is decayed for example in this case where the radial lucency the caries is approaching the uh, has uh, crossed the enamel dentine and has almost approached the pulp horn so obviously it will go for root canal treatment so you do the biomechanical preparation and then once you do the uh, uh, biomechanical preparation and the endodontic sealer is placed gutta percha is placed so many times what happens there is apical extrusion of gutta percha sorry gutta, apical extrusion of the sealer in the inferior alveolar canal cortex so why this happens because it is because of the uh, long roots of mandibular first molar just like how canines have long roots similarly in the mandibular first molar and the second molar the roots are long so this is just one case sample image you can just see one or two more sample images i'll just show you so this is another sample image you can just see this this is the inferior alveolar nerve canal cortex and here because of the third molar uh, there is this so occlusal caries deep proximal caries and now obviously this tooth will undergo root canal treatment the third molar will be extracted and here in the case of second molar it will go for endodontic procedure so during the endodontic procedure you can see this area the root is in contact very close relation to the inferior alveolar nerve canal so one ca such case has happened where there is apical extrusion of gutta percha uh, sorry apical extrusion of the endodontic sealer in the inferior alveolar nerve canal cortex which, which we'll just see right now so this is the case wherein uh, root canal procedure has been performed so, uh, on the distal root you can just see it over here there is apical extrusion of the sealer radio opacity you can appreciate it and it has reached till the uh, mandibular uh, premolar region and you can see it over here uh, this is just a panorex scout image scout images are usually low resolution images which are taken before taking the cbct scan so one more such image with different filter you can just see it where the distal root is very long and the uh, endodontic sealer has uh, crossed the uh, anatomic uh, apex and uh, radiographic apex and it has perforated the inferior alveolar nerve canal cortex and through the nerve cortex it has passed anteriorly as well as posteriorly involving the entire nerve canal and see how it has caused a uh, spread of endodontic sealer in all directions okay so we took a cbct scan of this specific region coming to the cbct scan you can just check out the cbct scan this is in one mm thickness you can see this tooth the tooth of concern is quite lingually placed there is deep lingual undercut you can just see the deep lingual undercut and you can just see this is the tooth of concern this is the mesial root okay so this is the mesial root curved mesial root okay and straight distal root so you can see the distal root canal that is apical extrusion of gutta percha inside the lingual undercut it has crossed the deep lingual undercut area and also there is apical extrusion of endodontic sealer it has perforated the nerve canal cortex and spread throughout the nerve canal cortex the posterior and the anterior region okay you can see this in different filters also high contrast and super light filter also you can see the radio opacity over here you can see it in different thickness also like i'll just increase the thickness this is 1 mm thickness i'll just increase the thickness to 4 mm so that it's very well appreciated you can just check this thing over here and align align the tooth along the long axis so we'll just align this thing along the long axis once that is done you can just see the same thing in 4 mm thickness or the 8 mm thickness you can just make out over here how, see how the endodontic sealer it has spread across posterior region to the anterior region so one has to take care by, uh, during uh, the endodontic procedure in such cases as it's one of the most common complication which takes place right now the main area of chief complaint was just for the pre-implant assessment patient wanted an implant in this specific region though there is knife edge ridge so we did the pre-implant assessment also uh, but just to study the endodontic sealer in different cross sections so what we'll do we'll just study this thing quickly we'll just mark this line spline marking and you can see this this blind marking you can see how the endodontic sealer it is in contact with the nerve canal cortex as we go posteriorly you can just see it it has spread down and it may lead to paresthesia it may lead to different sensation like it may spread towards the chin region also so this was just an incidental finding in this case as the patient in our case was asymptomatic but in many cases it may lead to some kind of symptoms like paresthesia so one has to be very careful while doing the endodontic procedures in such kind of thought so here in this case the endodontic sealer has perforated somewhere from this region as well as the distal aspect of the tooth somewhere from this specific region where the distal root apex is present and from this premolar region root apex region so you can see the root apex uh, roots are very long 
so same thing now we can study it in uh, axial cross sections as well we will just study this in axial cross sections okay so now the slices are loading you can just see since metallic restorations are present so these beam hardened streak line artifacts with increased image noise will be evident you just go down from a pike uh, from occlusal to the apical end you can just see this thing over here this is the endodontic sealer in contact with the nerve canal cortex we'll just get this thing towards the molar region this is the mandibular molar as we go down towards the root apex region you can just see it over here okay so this is the uh, distal root apical end where there is apical extrusion of sealer uh, as well as the gp point in the lingual undercut area okay so this was all about apical extrusion you can just see it in the 3d volume rendering image as well you can just change this thing i'll just change this thing to some other color so that it becomes easily appreciated okay so now you'll just see this thing in different uh, views so we'll just change the view to gray color you can see appreciate it over here so we have just hidden the bone and you can just make out in this this is the nerve canal this and this is the endodontic treated tooth and this is the bone you can just see this thing from the lingual aspect also okay see how the sealer has perforated the nerve canal cortex same thing if you want you can view it in the mpr view or maximum intensity projection okay so we'll just address uh, adjust the grayscale image we'll just bring this thing over here and just do some changes in the histogram so that it becomes well visible okay so this is the grayscale image you can just align along the long axis straight and just bring the thickness back to 2 mm okay so once you increase the thickness the image noise everything is corrected you can see this thing over here you can rotate this check this thing over here you can adjust the contrast and the brightness accordingly this is just for the patient education and the academic purpose tool it's a, that's it okay hence one has to be very careful while doing root canal procedures in the mandibular first and the second molar region because of the long roots so the treatment of such type of cases usually it's surgical treatment to avoid any further neurological complications so one uh, one has to undergo some kind of medications as well as uh, nerve decompression techniques and uh, take oral surgeons consultation okay so this was all about apical extrusion of endodontic sealer in the nerve canal cortex